CMS tackling a wide range of issues in regards to student safety. This morning, the principal and assistant principal at Hawthorne Academy suspended with pay. It comes after allegations a student was suspended after that student reported a sexual assault that happened at the school. Wake Up Charlotte's Lana Harris joins us now this morning. And Lana, parents and students had a lot to say about this at last night's school board meeting. They did. Good morning. So during that public comment section, CMS received scathing and heartbreaking speeches from students and former students about how they feel the district is failing to protect them, saying that uh, they feel that survivors of sexual assault are in some cases humiliated and dismissed and in that Hawthorne case allegedly suspended. So the Hawthorne case was the latest in a string of sexual assault allegations in CMS. In that case, an incident report from CMPD showed two teenagers claimed a person attempted to engage in sexual contact with them at the school back in September. Earlier this year, a 15 year old student at Charlotte's Olympic High School was charged with attempted second degree rape, second degree kidnapping and sexual battery. And then, of course, former Myers Park High School principal Mark Bosco, who's been in the news a lot, was initially suspended with pay and then reassigned to a senior administrator job with the district in October, all following several parents and students protesting over allegations over school, the school mishandling reports of sexual assaults on campus. Though, of course, the district never officially said that's why he was suspended and reassigned. Former Myers Park student Nikki Womwell, who says she was sexually assaulted during her time at Myers Park, got emotional when speaking to the district. How can this still be happening seven years later? Can you not hear our cries for change? Can you not see that your actions have lasting ramifications for the rest of your students' lives? Is your reputation really worth more than that? Now, earlier this year, Superintendent Ernest Winston announced the creation of a new Title IX task force that's supposed to be looking into how the district can improve their response to how sexual allegations are handled. And we're told that that report is supposed to be coming out in the coming weeks. Lana Harris, WCNC Charlotte.